What if I tell you, you can get your ex back by using our secret step-by-step no-contact empowerment strategy? In this recent YouGov study, 37% of respondents said they believe no-contact is the best method of dealing with an ex-partner. We've taken the no-contact rule and improved it by adding a step-by-step empowerment strategy. Now, 100 people have tested it and proved it works. In this video, we are giving it to you for free. If you want more personal help from me and my team, comment I'm in in the comments down below. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to the no contact empowerment strategy. It doesn't matter what happened earlier. If you have chased, begged, called your ex, or acted needy, you will leave all that behind you and not bang your head about it. What happened in the past happened. You will accept it and let it go and start things from scratch. No contact empowerment strategy is all about you and it works amazingly well to get your ex back. This is what you will do. Part one of two is to go full no contact. Step number one. You will not call them, text them, or engage with their social media posts. You will not like, comment, or share anything they publish on social media. You will not watch their stories or TikToks. You don't and shouldn't unfriend them. Because that is giving them attention. If you already did do it, do not add them back again and leave it be. It will be hard and painful, but do not look at their social media and snooze them. You will also not post anything on your social media or restrict them from seeing it. The goal is to not give them any information about you. Step number two. You will not go to places where you could accidentally meet them, their family, or friends. If that means changing your gym or favorite restaurant, you will do it. If you work together, Ask your supervisor if you can work from home. Change shifts. Do everything you can to avoid seeing them or anyone they know. Step number three. You will not wish them happy birthday, Hanukkah, Easter, Christmas, graduation, promotion, or whatever. Step number four. You will not be the first to offer to send them their things back. If they ask for their things, you will pack them and send them by mail. You will not by any means invite them to come over and take the boxes or bring them to their door. It doesn't matter even if you live in a small city. You will send it by post or leave it somewhere neutral without meeting them. Step number five. You will not express your condolences directly to your ex in case someone from their family dies. If it is a close family member that you knew, you will send flowers and a card addressed to their whole family. You will not address the card only to your ex and send it to your ex's address. Step number six. You will hide every reminder of them that's within your control. Gifts, clothes, their things. Invest some money and buy a new coffee cup or something that makes you happy and you use every day. The goal is to create new memories not connected with your ex and place them around the place you live in. Step number seven. You will not go to any places where you can awake painful memories. If you used to walk a dog together in a nearby park, you will change the route. If you ordered food always from that one place you both loved, you will change it and try something new not connected with your ex. If you have a specific question about full no contact for us, comment below. 
the goal of full no contact in this case has nothing to do with your ex. You are doing it to give yourself some space and mental clarity. If your ex broke up with you, this means two things. First one, their attraction for you dropped at some point. And the second one, they don't want you anymore in their lives, at least not to the same extent as you want them. Even if you are Jason Momoa or Bella Hadid, this will hurt your ego. Now that you have gone full no contact in part number one, you can begin part number two, the empowerment strategy. Step number one, avoid any unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as drinking alcohol, using cigarettes, doing drugs, comfort eating, or engaging in risky behaviors. Step number two, shift your focus from the past to the future. Whenever you get stuck in past events, shift towards thinking about all the things you are looking forward to in the future and imagining your future without your ex. Step number three, practice gratefulness. Start your day with three things you are grateful for. It could be as simple as being grateful you woke up alive and didn't have a nightmare. Step number four, take responsibility for your own happiness and positive changes. You do not need anything or anyone to make you happy, except yourself. Step number five, validate your feelings. But have in mind, they will not last forever. If you feel hurt, sad, lonely, that is okay. You should process those feelings and not suppress them. Remember, what you are feeling now will not last forever. And I can promise you, it will be better soon. Step number six, take care of your body. I understand that even minimal effort can be hard for you when you are heartbroken. And you don't have to look like you are going on the red carpet. But push yourself to do the basics. Brush your teeth, take a shower, fix your hair, and put on your favorite clothes. Can you see how using both part one, full no contact, and part two, empowerment strategy, can help you? You will let go of your negative emotions, gain mental clarity, and put things back into perspective. Not look desperate and needy. Create new memories that have nothing to do with your ex. Take care of your body. Reconnect with your independent life and self. Recover, redefine, and reinvent yourself. Drastically increase your level of attractiveness. Get your ex back or move on from them. The no contact empowerment strategy has nothing to do with getting your ex back. But after you implemented it, your ex comes back miraculously. Our no-contact empowerment strategy has helped over 100 people cope with their breakups, regain their confidence, and get their ex back. If you want more personal help from me and my team, comment I'm in in the comments down below.